Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good? Honestly, man, Attack on Titan has been such a roller coaster of a ride, and it's not going to stop anytime soon, to be honest. This ride has continuously showed us every single character that's made it so far can do something or will do something. Um, I think the weird thing that had me messed up this week, though, out of everything we saw, was Mikasa. Mikasa pretty much showcased that she is, like, dehumanized, you know? Like, she really does not care about a lot of things that you know, certain people just might, you know, and to see her going to someone with the scarf just to pretty much take it off of her, um, you know, and all she wanted to do was be closer to Mikasa, think about it. She doesn't share, like, any pity for this girl. She doesn't care about her getting, you know, attacked in this huge battle, um, and actually getting hit by something that is from their own team being the Thunder Spear Shrapnel. So, technically speaking, Mikasa could have been the one that shot that shrapnel into her. Like, think about that. <laughs> Every time she was shooting shrapnel and killing people, anybody that was doing that had to have been one of the people to hurt her. Um, so this goes to show you, even when you unlock a new amount of power, you can still cause that much more damage to your allies than people would imagine. So, the really cool thing about this week's episode, though, is how many of the Titans we have uh, gathered out of the nine. We have Armor Titan, we have Female Titan, we have Colossus Titan, we have Jaws Titan, and we have the Cart uh, seemingly would join Levi and Army, but I think that's why this show has just gotten that much more better to me. It's the simple fact that even if they do try to help and do whatever it is that Army and them are doing, are Levi and Hang's plans going to come uh, in ahead? Right, like whatever they're trying to do, will it mess up what Army and the Armor Titans trying to do? Because at this point in time, it's pretty clear that anybody going against Aaron is pretty much an ally of each other. But they don't even know that Hangs, Levi, uh, Cart Titan. Well, I guess Gene does, so I take all that back. Gene is the connective glue to them knowing about all that stuff. So, technically speaking, um, they all are on the same plan. They all have the same goal. And that's actually pretty cool at the end of the day, because we know for a fact um, Levi wants revenge on the Beast Titan for everything he did to those people. And to think that he's still alive and, you know, Levi is bedridden, he can't be too happy about that, especially when they were both in the explosion together and he made it out and is already walking and all that stuff. Levi ain't happy about that. He wants to make sure Zeke can't walk after what he's done. But... That being said, I am super excited to see what all is about to happen. Because, like I said, Attack on Titan is a special, special show to a lot of us. And to think that Gene pulled off such a clever move by shooting four times and quote-unquote missing, and that being the signal to actually get everybody to act was the opening uh, greatness that I saw from that, so I hope y'all having an amazing one, I will definitely talk to y'all sooner than later, I am your boy.
the anime G, and I'll definitely try to get Bodento out as well. Uh, so if you are watching this and you've made it this far, don't be afraid to go and give Bodento a little bit of a view or something like that. It would be greatly appreciated. Take care. And peace.